she won't let him eat anymore. <laughs> oh, maybe she's gonna. They mind her so well, they stop eating and follow her around. We're now in week six of my vlog series, Raising Baby Chicks, Mama Hen versus Humans. And a good broody hen is a gift from God. You feed and water her and make sure she has a safe place to hatch and raise her babies, and then she does everything else for you. However, with incubating eggs, you not only have to babysit the eggs for 21 days, you end up feeding and cleaning up after fat, lazy house roosters for five to six weeks, depending on the weather and temperatures outside and how fast they feather. Okay, it's officially getting old. My pampered house roosters and every day cleaning out a cage. There's raccoons in the yard. Little ones, but baby ones. But that means their mama is very far. So, trying to rally the troops. Get them all back to the house. Full disclosure, this is my second time with a broody mama hen and my first time with an incubator. My first broody was in 2022 last year. It wasn't planned and I had zero knowledge of raising baby chicks. Talk about unprepared. Last year's broody was Dorothy. She was a royal vent. And if you're unfamiliar with what a chicken vent is, it's the slit in the rear of a chicken where the egg and the poop comes out. Yes, Dorothy was a royal vent. She still is and always has been. I hear it's a trait of Wyandots. <laughs> She hatched three of the 12 eggs that I gave her. I ended up with Mary, my olive egger, which was a giant surprise, and two roosters, Noah and Enoch. There's a kind of funny story about Mary's first egg. I prayed over and over that God wouldn't let me miss her first egg. I think God has quite a sense of humor because lo and behold, Mary's first egg was surprisingly green, so God made sure I'd never miss any of her eggs. Against my better judgment, I kept both roosters, and until about five weeks, just after Dorothy abandoned them and tried to kill them, she's never allowed to be the mama again. Anyway, until about week five, Enoch was Eve, and I was already attached to her, her rather him. 
I knew very little about sexing baby chicks. I did my best to research and also watch a million videos. No, really, at least a million. I have a better grasp on it now, or so I thought I did, until this week when I started questioning everything I thought I knew. Now all I see is roosters, roosters everywhere. I'm too close to the situation and I can't be objective anymore. I noticed my poet Miriam was sparring with my cockerel Eli. I just saw Miriam trying to fight Eli and I was looking at the way she stands and she might be, oh, she might be a rooster. I just want to cry right now. Welcome to my rooster hen roller coaster. <sighs> Come on. Come on, man. I'm not sure if she was just sticking up for herself or initiated the confrontation. Miriam and Eli are both hatched from Mary eggs. They remind me so much of Mary and Enoch. I just can't wrap my head around Miriam being male because all I see is Mary when I look at her. I remember Mary sparring with her brothers a few times. She kind of had to, so maybe it's just the pecking order being worked out, or maybe I need to come to terms that I was wrong about Miriam. I just don't know. It's just really hard because I have been close since day one with Miriam. It's always been Asa and Miriam. Of course, I love them all, but Asa and Miriam have always been closest to me. They both feathered the fastest, had wing feathers and tail feathers on day one. These are all indicative of female. Asa, Miriam, and Zipra have all maintained a very small yellow comb and no other red or pink on their face or their head, which pullets usually have smaller, more pale combs until they are at the point of laying eggs. Then they grow wattles if they are that kind of bird, and their combs will get dark red and grow as well as their face starts getting more red. The issue that I'm having is that most of the birds I'm raising are Easter eggers. They tend to be harder to sex because usually they don't have large combs or any waddles. My husband says don't count Miriam out just yet because she looks like a hen to him. She looks just like her mom, Mary. What are you doing, Kay? And then there's the silver lace wine dot mixes. They both look so different. They're shaped so different. I know Tay is a cockerel. This is pretty obvious. I'd be really surprised if I was wrong on that. He has a really dark developing comb and waddles. He seems to stand upright most of the time, like a rooster would. He's not really aggressive yet, though he defends himself. And he wanders and does his own thing. He's friendly and such a funny little guy. I originally wrote off the Wyandotte mix that was in the coop as a rooster right away because of its comb and waddles, but they really haven't developed much since they appeared in week three, and maybe I'm imagining it, but if anything, they've gotten lighter rather than darker. It's also non-aggressive. I've only really seen it stand up for itself and not really initiate aggression, which surprises me because its mother is Dorothy the royal vent that I spoke of earlier. I noticed that it stands less vertical and shaped a little different than Tay. It displays clearly the symmetrical laced pattern and it's very round feathers. I remember reading that roosters 
are more blotchy and hens tend to have a more pattern that repeats and is uniformly symmetrical with round feathers. Tay is blotchy but symmetrical and not really laced. Maybe when he has his juvenile mole that will change. It's such a guessing game and the suspense is killing me. Do you see what I mean? I guess it's all about putting the clues together, but when I think too hard about it, I second guess myself. I literally make myself crazy. I've been on a is it a hen or a rooster roller coaster for the past six weeks. I'm driving my husband nuts, but I hate surprises and I can't help it. I just want to know who's staying and who needs to find a new home. I'd rather have them all avoid freezer camp if at all all possible. I'm a big sucker for a pretty and sweet rooster. All right, we're taking out these babies and we got them shut in the run with mama. We got these babies and we're gonna release them into the run and see what happens. Mama! Mama! No! All right, well, we got some kale and everybody's gonna eat some. Here you go, Asa. This is an experiment here. Mama doesn't seem too happy. The babies aren't too bad though. You don't seem to be fighting. And Mama's back to kicking dirt at me because she's mad. Because I got her and her babies shut in here with my babies. Thanks, Mama. are ready to get the heck out of here. I'm getting sick of getting dust bathed. You totally ruined your water again. Look. Jeez, oh peas, lady. Get back, mama. So, the black-tailed one is a rooster. And it was just fighting with Miriam, too. So, my guess is I'm going to have to come to terms with Miriam as a rooster. Can you imagine if I just have a bunch of house roosters? Oh, my word. Okay, it's officially getting old. My pampered house roosters. And every day cleaning out a cage. And now it's all clean and it smells like lavender essential oil in here. And like I told you, they're fat pampered house roosters. 
Why is she all by herself? Isa, why are you all by yourself? Are these a bunch of lazy house roosters? I hope not. These two at the end, they're supposed to be hens. The poor little Asa is all by herself. What are you doing? What are you doing, Tater? Are you ready for sleep, Tater Pie? You're so cute. How's everybody else doing? Are you Miriam or Ephraim? Day two of trying to integrate the chicks. Look what you just did to me. That is disgusting. Okay, you can get down. Gross. Can you show us some waddles, Miriam, or lack thereof? Got poop on your feet too? Wonderful. I guess I'm in a chicken run. I should expect that, huh? That's a very nice mama. What you doing, Tay? You asking for trouble? Be nice, Tay. Be nice, Tay. Be a nice birdie. Be nice, Tater Pie. Hi, everybody. Where's Mom? Mom. Hey, sweetie, at least you're going to have water all day. I'm not going to have to fix it like 87 times. You guys do all right in there for a little while? Get 
You know the chickens? How about you, Delilah? Are you ready to be not a mom anymore? She doesn't even act like she cares about her babies. That's Dorothy, the big giant vent. The royal vent. Why do you gotta be so scary, Blanche? How you doing, Miss Mary? Mama's now gone, and my job kicks in full force with integrating and finding homes for roosters. Chicken behavior is very strange. This is a fight between Ezra and Eli and the coop wind up, and Miriam just kind of sits on the sideline and doesn't join in. And then she goes up and tweets. Right next to Eli, like she's talking to him. This little white one's getting away with coming over here. I think it's because it looks like Asa. And Eli's not trying to hurt it. Coop baby number two comes over to eat with the incubator babies and Miriam starts the pecking order as Eli seems to go to attack number two. He has attacked her before. Can't really tell if Miriam stopped him. Very interested in Miriam's behavior. Or if he was stopping Miriam from exercising the pecking order. Then she follows him away to get right in his face like she's telling him not to interfere in her business. Is she telling him he can't do that to her? It seems weird that if Miriam is a pullet, which is a young hen, and Eli is a cockerel, which is a young rooster. There's a very interesting dynamic between those two. That Eli would submit to Miriam, but this doesn't look like a rooster confrontation to me. Not at all. What do you think? Leave me a comment. This one is not Asa but it's getting away with doing whatever Asa would do. <laughs> First day without mama and they know to death bathe. Well, this one looks a lot like her mama. That's a merry egg, too. And she has green legs. And there has been an invasion. I'm still thinking hen on this one and this one. Hi there, sweetie. How are you doing? fun because now that Delilah's gone, I get to know the birds now. That's not Asa. That's also not Tay. But that's Miriam. And she wanted out of there. Now we're just invading each other's spaces because, you know, that's how we get to know each other. We invade each other's spaces. Okay, so that's Miriam fighting with a rooster. Miriam is firing with rooster. It's just like Eve all over again when you knock.
Are we a rooster today or a hen? Huh? You always gotta jump on the camera. Oh. Do you see red in her face? You're so silly. Oh, she jumps on the phone. Wow, Zippo was just uh, fighting with a rooster. You better not be a rooster too, Zippy. trying to dig it out. Mama did a great job with her babies. None of them are fat. They are almost all feathered and they certainly aren't lazy. Best of all, they are warming up to me quite quickly. Well, I'm back to thinking Miriam is a hen. I'm still in the air on the coop wine dot, but leaning towards rooster today. So that brings the assumed total to possibly five to six hens, if I'm lucky. You got Asa or not Asa? It's sort of like mingling, right? Not nah, Asa has been hanging out with the incubator babies. Like a lot, all day. I think it's really funny. It's like they don't know that it's not Asa. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you by yourself? How come all you guys are separated? That's weird. That's just weird. All right, it's time for bed. And turn off the light. On to week seven. Hope to see you there. <laughs>